I'll show you how beginners make hundreds of dollars a month using Astera, and I'm gonna provide you with multiple different strategies that you can try out as a complete beginner, so let's give it a shot. One thing that stands out right away about this website is the fact there's functionality to it for different types of people. You can use it as an advertiser, there are also use cases for publishers, and you can also take advantage of this platform as an affiliate. Even if you don't have a digital product that you're selling, or you don't have any websites, you can still make use of it. And now I'm about to break it down for you. And let's start with the publisher feature. Now guys, here's the thing. This is gonna work in a similar way to how Google Ads works for publishers. Basically, let's say that you have a blog or a website and you're posting content consistently. What you can do is further monetize your traffic and the engagement you're getting by displaying advertisements on your page. That way you're helping other brands get more awareness get more exposure and more potential clients in the long run and you are getting paid for your contribution because they will pay you a flat fee for every single page visit and so the more traffic you have the more money you can potentially make however a slight drawback when it comes to google ads is that they will have all sorts of different requirements that you have to meet all sorts of different conditions and applying for displaying google ads on your website is not an easy process it takes a little bit of time and effort but when it comes to ads there are, this is just an easier and more beginner friendly alternative that you can display ads on your website Send your websites for approval, choose ad formats and exclude undesirable campaigns, and then finally, manage your websites. Once your codes are approved, you can just click on get code next to chosen website and paste them onto your web page. And that way you can even choose what type of ads you want to display. All you gotta do is click on this button that says add new website, add your link, and then also choose the available ad units. That can just be native banners or direct links, social bars. And you can even remove certain campaigns that you don't necessarily want to be displayed on your page, such as ads with sound. They are simply gonna ruin the experience for most visitors, or gambling ads, or even those annoying alert ads. You can just get rid of those altogether. Now, of course, as you might expect, your CPM value will be higher if you allow more ads. But at the end of the day, you gotta balance the wins and the losses and decide for yourself. This is your call to make. But don't worry about it, I've done the research so you don't have to. And I'm about to provide you with an exact figure. So you can know whether or not it is worth it for you from a financial standpoint to display ads on your website. And here's what I mean. Typically speaking, the CPM for these sorts of things should be around $5 or less, depending on the size of your site. And that also depends on your topic and your visitors' demographics. As you can see, there are multiple factors that come into play when it comes to the CPM you are getting. That means that if you're trying to get an extra $5,000 a month on your website just by displaying ads, you will need over 1 million page views on a monthly basis, which to be entirely honest is not that easy to get. And here's something really interesting. This website that is called makingsenseofsense.com, this is just a regular blog, has generated over $100,000 in a single month. Now, this was back in June 2018, so quite a while back, but it teaches us a very important lesson. Only 3% of their total revenue was generated through displaying advertising on their website. If you compare that to the $50,000 they got in affiliate income, that's nothing, that is insignificant. And that just goes to show that displaying ads on your website is a great way to get some extra cash, but you cannot just depend on that solely. You gotta diversify your streams of income a little bit. And so now let's head back over to the homepage and explore the other possibilities. For instance, logging in as an advertiser, what is that all about? Well guys, in a nutshell, another thing that you can do off of ads Terra is purchase traffic for multiple different purposes and we're about to break it down. For instance, let's say they have a blog or a website where you're posting content regularly and you want to increase your following. That can be done for multiple different reasons. First off, if the Google algorithm sees that you're getting traffic from all sorts of different locations, from all sorts of different sources, is going to push you up in the algorithm. And so you're getting some sort of snowball effect, which is desirable, isn't it? Moving forward, as you get more exposure, earning opportunities will also show up. We are talking about affiliate income and also most significantly about sponsorships and advertising. In other words, these are also known as brand deals. Basically, you're helping out brands and companies get more exposure for their products and services. You're helping them out by giving them access to your traffic that you're generating organically, and they will just reward you for your contribution. So it's a win-win situation if you wanna think about it like that. Both of you are profiting off of the process. But now guys, let's say that blogging is not your thing, and instead you're focusing on selling products online. Through an e-commerce store, for instance, that you have just built using Shopify. Perhaps you're doing some sort of dropshipping or whatnot. Well, in that case, Astera can also prove pretty helpful. In other words, what you can do is drive traffic from Astera that you are purchasing straight over to your e-commerce store. That way you can generate more sales and so more revenue on the back end. 
and the cost of advertising is just a small expense that you can cover. If you're doing everything correctly, you're doing your marketing right, and you really know what products to pick, the expense of advertising using Astera is not gonna be too significant. But again, there are multiple factors that come into play here, and this is not necessarily something that a beginner can do. And here's another even more interesting option. What you can do, is get traffic off of Astera for your YouTube channel. That's a real thing. For instance, let's say that some of my videos aren't picking up enough traction and I wanna boost their engagement a little bit. What I can do is purchase ads and send people straight over to the video. In theory, everything sounds great, doesn't it? Basically, you're paying for that traffic, you will get more views on your videos, you will get paid through Google Ads a little bit better, and you're also growing your subscriber count and whatnot, your engagement rate. And so at a first glance, there are multiple different advantages of paying for that traffic. But in reality, in practice, paying for traffic on a YouTube channel is not the best thing to do. And let me show you why. I'm not just talking nonsense here. This is an example of a video that grew organically. The average view duration on this one is 3 minutes. In other words, 30% watch time. And it's also got a great click-through rate of 12.7%. That is a pretty decent one. Here's another video with a similar view count. But as you can see, the stats don't really look that good. We only have 2 minutes and 20 seconds average view duration, so 24% watch time. And when it comes to the click-through rate, this is just disastrous. 3.8% compared to 12% on the other one. So what's the difference between these two videos? Is it just the quality? Is it just the topic? Well, none of those things actually. It is the source of traffic. You see, when it comes to this video about making money on Quora, most of the traffic was generated from an external source. In other words, we promoted this video on another YouTube channel in order to get more exposure. And so this is a very similar process to what you're looking at when it comes to purchasing ads off of Adstera. You're doing the same exact thing. You're literally driving some people that may not even be interested in the content you're posting to your YouTube channel. And that is really going to damage your stats. Even if you get more views, your audience retention will drop down significantly. Your click-through rate might also suffer quite a bit. And so over a long time horizon, this is not worth it. And it's not sustainable. You can boost up your view count artificially, but you are not actually contributing to your channel's growth. In comparison, as you can see right here, most of the traffic of this video was generated through YouTube search, meaning that people actually searched for this topic before watching my video. So what I did was basically just answer people's questions. They searched for the keyword and they found our video. That is exactly why the stats look a lot better. However, guys, do not worry about it. There is another way that you can make use of Astera in order to make some serious cash. And I think this might actually be the best option you've got. And I'm talking about getting traffic for affiliate offers. You see, when it comes to affiliate offers, you're literally partnering up with a brand that's already designed a well-converting funnel. They've already got a high-quality product, which they have probably spent tens of thousands of dollars on. You don't have to worry about manufacturing any products, creating any courses, any upsells or downsells. All you gotta do is generate traffic and send it over to their landing page, to their funnel. And if you can do that, you're keeping a solid commission over and over. And so what you can do moving forward is head over to a website such as maxbounty.com or any other affiliate marketplace, Clickbank, Digistore24, you name it. Then purchase traffic off of Adstera and send it over to your affiliate offer. And now, of course, there are multiple things that you can do in order to increase that conversion rate. If you're simply buying traffic and sending it over to a landing page without properly nurturing that traffic beforehand, you may not see such a great conversion rate after all. And so you might actually be losing money. You really need to know what you're doing here. But all in all, this might actually be one of the most beginner-friendly ways of making use of Adstera. Again, you don't have to worry about shipping any products. All you gotta do is send the traffic. And in that regard, this website has got you covered. They've got over 30,000 different partners. And they've been around for a while. Alternatively, you can do this whole process inside the platform, so you don't even have to leave it. As an affiliate marketer, you can earn on CPI, CPA, or CPL and RevShare offers from the direct reputable as their advertisers. And all you gotta do is drive traffic from various traffic sources. And so instead of purchasing the traffic off of Astera and sending it to another page, what you can do is partner up with a product or service on Astera and send your traffic from another source. But unless you have a popular social media account or a YouTube channel, a Facebook group, a Facebook page, this will not really be doable. And at this point, you've got all of these different options. Now, of course, each one of them is going to have its own difficulties and obstacles that you need to overcome. But all in all, these are great earning opportunities. And you can get started right now. And that's precisely what I want you to do. That's it for now. And thanks for watching.